Hi, I'm Chef Matt from Zephyr and Gold Catering. I'm going to be doing a grilled oyster demo for the VMI Bull Roast. Today we're going to go over a few different grilled oyster recipes. We're going to go over a classic garlic parmesan butter, a little bit of parsley, breadcrumb, and slap your mama seasoning. Next we're going to do a buffalo blue cheese oyster with a little bit of celery on top. And last, a Maryland grilled oyster, of course, because we are in Maryland. A Bloody Mary with some Old Bay cilantro finished with a little bit of fresh lemon juice. After we put together the sauces, we're going to go over some grilling techniques and how to finish things and plate them so they look beautiful. The first sauce we're going to work on is the garlic parmesan butter. Now this is a very similar recipe to the famous grilled oysters of New Orleans. First, we're going to take one stick of melted butter, mix in one tablespoon of minced garlic, two tablespoons of shredded Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of parsley flakes, and we're gonna reserve the Slap Your Mama seasoning and panko breadcrumbs for the garnish. Next up is the Buffalo Blue Cheese Oyster. We'll take four ounces of your favorite hot sauce, that could be Tabasco, Crystal, or Red's Hot, and then we're gonna mix in two ounces of melted butter, We're gonna set the celery and the blue cheese off to the side for grilling. Last but not least, the Maryland Bloody Mary Oyster. We're gonna take four ounces of your favorite Bloody Mary mix. We're gonna mix in one tablespoon of Old Bay, and we're gonna save the lemon juice and the cilantro for the garnish. So a few things to keep in mind when grilling oysters is you wanna have your grill on a medium to high heat. You want to make sure that the heat of the grill is going to penetrate through the shell of the oyster. I typically look for the liquid inside of the shell to start bubbling around the edges of the oyster to let me know that the oyster is done. That also helps when you're adding things like garlic butter, you'll see everything in the shell nice and bubbly. So the first we're going to grill is the Parmesan butter. Now, now that the sauce is mixed together, we're going to make sure that everything is stirred together right before you decide to spoon a little bit, about one teaspoon of the garlic parmesan butter onto each oyster. Once the garlic parmesan butter is on each oyster, we're going to place them on the grill, oyster side up, for about three to four minutes. Once things start to get bubbly and delicious, we're going to take the slap your mama seasoning and the panko breadcrumbs, we're going to sprinkle that on top and give it about one more minute and we'll pull them off. So when grilling the buffalo blue cheese oyster, we're actually gonna start with the blue cheese crumbles. You're gonna sprinkle a little bit of blue cheese on top of each oyster, and then we'll finish with one teaspoon of hot sauce butter mixture per oyster, and we'll throw that right on the grill. Give that a few minutes, let the cheese start to melt, the sauce will start bubbling, and then one minute before you pull it off the grill, we'll finish with the minced celery. The Maryland Bloody Mary grilled oysters are very similar to the garlic parmesan butter. We're going to take about one teaspoon of the Bloody Mary mix. We're going to put that on top of each oyster and get those onto the grill. Give those about three to four minutes until they start to bubble. We'll finish with the chopped cilantro and the fresh lemon juice and we're good to go. Now before you enjoy your grilled oysters, be very careful. The shell is going to be extremely hot. Give them a few minutes to cool down and enjoy with a fork or give yourself a few more minutes and feel free to slurp them right out of the shell. Thanks for watching the Zephyr and Gold Grilled Oyster Demo. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the BMI Bull Roast.